Hi, hello, my dear NEET aspirants. Welcome to Mass Physics MNR. Nenu me Ashwini Kumar Tati Pambala, Faculty of Botany. So, manamo total ga four videos complete chase kam na sexual reproduction in flowering plants ane chapter pai na. So last fourth video lo ekar var kuchha mante. Entry of pollen tube into the ovule and entry of pollen tube into the embryo sac for a complete chase for them. So, Eros session no, double fertilization that is very, very important aspect. Ma. So, Chivari Gatta Manamata male ninchi male gametes non motile male gametes form in then female reproductive part ninchi. Egg that is non motile female gamete form only. So, how to the both male and female gametes involved in fertilization? That is a one of the very, very important aspect. So, the process is what double fertilization. So, we will see how the double fertilization takes place in angiospermic plants. That is the one of the unique character in angiosperms. Characteristic feature in angiosperms, no, no? that is only takes place in angiosperms. Well, see, start. Let us start the new session. So that is what double fertilization. So double fertilization. So what is the double fertilization now? Double fertilization. Double fertilization. Dvi faladi karanamu and tamna telugulo. Dvi faladi karanamu. Double fertilization. Okay. So, them, after entering of uh, means a pollen tube, after entering of one of the synergid, one of the synergid. See here, this is the Embryo sac ma, embryo sac. See all of you in this area. This is microphylar zone. This one egg, then this one synergid. This is called what female gamete. Female gamete. Okay. Yeah, this one is the synergid ma, synergid, synergid, okay. So, in the previous video, what is that? Entry of pollen tube into the ovule. Here, this is what egg nucleus ra. This one is the complete part is what uh, cytoplasm. Okay, in the synergids area, there is a finger-like projection is there. This is called what? Filiform apparatus. Filiform apparatus. Filiform apparatus. Filiform apparatus. Okay, now when entry of a pollen tube into the embryo sac through one of the synergidma, important one of the synergid. One of the synergid only, right? This is the pollen tube. Ra. So, entry of pollen tube into the embryo sac, and that is what one of the synergid only. So, one of the synergid here inside the pollen tube, there are how many male gametes are there? Ma? Two male gametes are there. These two are what male gametes. Now, after tip of the pollen tube burst out. Now, these two male gametes are released into the cytoplasm of a synergid. Very, very important. Yeah, these two are what are male gametes. Male gametes. Okay, na? These two are the male gametes, but both are non motile. Clear all of you. But these two male gametes are not similar, ma. That is in unequal unequal type of male gametes ra okay so after entering of the pollen tube into the embryo sac 
any one of the synergy that is uh, undergo degeneration takes place so now the two male gametes are released in the cytoplasm of synergy that is very very important okay now after that what are the events are takes place in the embryo sac now yeah this is part is what complete part embryo sac embryo sac okay na embryo sac nana you know this is complete part is what central cell ra is this is one polar nuclei and this one is what another polar nuclei during the fertilization time both polar nuclei are united together to form a what type of nucleus ma this is called diploid nucleus diploid nucleus okay na during the fertilization time the two polar nuclei fuse together to form what a diploid nucleus that is also called what ma secondary nucleus secondary nucleus secondary nucleus are definitive nucleus i already told you in the embryo sac part area nana okay so now this is complete portion is central cell portion now this is what secondary nucleus the ploidy level is what 2n condition 2n condition right so we'll see now after that uh, entry of pollen tube into the embryo sac then the two male gametes are released sperma inside the synergid very very important cytoplasm of the synergid most important thing nana after that what are the events are takes place now the first event is what singami what is the first event singami what is the meaning of singami singami also known as true fertilization singami is also known as true fertilization true fertilization yeah what is the meaning of singami now first of all you know that already here one female gamete is there that is non motile here two male gametes are there ma they are also non motile so that first male gametes okay na first male gamete one of the male gamete moves to the egg cell one of the male gamete moves to the egg cell okay na then fuse with its uh, nucleus fuse with its uh, nucleus now that is to form what ma a diploid cell that is to form what a diploid cell the diploid cell known is called as what ra zygote most important diploid cell name is called what zygote so that zygote ploid is what ra 2n zygote ploid is what ma 2n yeah this is called as what uh, singami okay na singami means what one of the male gamete ikkada nanaku rendu male gametes unnai nana ee rendu male gametes lo one of the male gamete oka male gamete then dekkar vaipu ku move avutundi one of the male gamete moves to the what egg cell to a moves towards the egg cell mar egg cell lo already em undi idi nucleus egg cell nucleus this is called egg cell nucleus okay na ఈ ఎక్సెల్ న్యూక్లియస్ తో ఈ మేల్ గ్యామెట్ న్యూక్లియ ఏమవుతుంది ఫ్యూజ్ అవుతుంది సచ్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ వాట్ సింగమీ ఆర్ ట్రూ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ వెరీ 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 ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఎస్ మా దిస్ ఇస్ ద ఫస్ట్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ నౌ కమింగ్ టు ద సెకండ్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ వాట్ ట్రిపుల్ ఫ్యూజన్ సెకండ్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ ఈజ్ నోన్ యాజ్ ట్రిపుల్ ఫ్యూజన్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద మీనింగ్ ట్రిపుల్ ఫ్యూజన్ పేర్లోనే ఉంది నాన్న so name is there triple means 3 ana triple means what 3 3 nuclei are involved here so ikkada enni migil poyina nan remaining how many male gametes are remains right here one okay na the remaining male gamete moves towards the polar nuclei moves towards the polar nuclear secondary nucleus and fuse with it okay na such type of fusion is called what three haploid nuclei involved in fusion that is called as what ma triple fusion so second male gametes second male gamete second male gamete fuse with what about ra 
secondary nucleus secondary nucleus nana inside the secondary nucleus how many polar nuclei are there two polar nuclei are there now second male gamete fuse with secondary nucleus now what is the result now this type of fusion is called triple fusion the result is called what ma yes very very important triploid triploid primary primary endosperm endosperm primary endosperm nucleus primary endosperm nucleus means p e n danni manamu short form lo em antam nana pen antam raskune pen gaadi idi primary endosperm nucleus antam primary endosperm nucleus okay na yeah this is the ploid level nature is what ra triploid in nature why ma it is triploid because second male gamete lo one nuclei secondary nucleus lo two nuclei so total how many nuclei are involved here three nuclei are involved that's why the type of fusion is called what triple fusion antam triple fusion okay na so the first type of fertilization is called what syngamy the second type of fertilization is called what triple fusion but this type of triple fusion is also called what ma vegetative fertilization vegetative fertilization vegetative fertilization okay na the name antamo vegetative fertilization anta okay na triple fusion also called vegetative fertilization okay nana singami or true fertilization discovered by who that is discovered by discovered by strasburger discovered by who are the scientist ma strasburger strasburger is the scientist okay important so now inside the embryo sac how many types of fertilizations are takes place right now inside the embryo sac this is complete part of the embryo sac right inside the embryo sac how many types of fertilizations are takes place one is syngamy then second one is what triple fusion so that two types of fertilizations are takes place so the name is called what double double fertilization okay na so the double fertilization discovered by who double fertilization discovered by navashin double fertilization discovered by navashin discovered by navashin not there in ncert kani question nana important area discovered by navashin navashin is the scientist name nana navashin okay na navashin discovered by navashin okay na in uh, which type of plants are that is prettle area lilium and prettle area plants lilium lilium and uh, prettle area lilium and prettle area plants nana okay this is about what double fertilization information so see all of you singami result is what ra zygot singami result is what zygot then triple fusion result is what ma primary endosperm nucleus triple fusion result is primary endosperm nucleus singami result is what zygot formation is there after that this zygote develops into what embryo takes place this zygote develops into embryo then primary endosperm nucleus develops into what endosperm primary endosperm nucleus develops into what endosperm okay na so now ikkada question elanti questions vache avakasam undi examiner elanti questions concentrate chestadu ikkada so in this double fertilization process how many nuclei are involved antadu in double fertilization in angiosperms it is a unique character double fertilization is the unique characters in angiosperms unique character unique character in where ma angiosperms ra in double fertilization process how many nuclei are involved antadu so the answer is what nana five nuclei are involved so what are the five nucleus ra ikkada two male gametes unnai two nuclei right 
So the next one, you female gamete is, is there, ma, that is one nuclei, three. You could two polar nuclei are there, that is two. Total five nuclei are involved, very, very important. In double fertilization, how many nuclei are involved in double fertilization? Five nucleus, five nuclei are involved. Okay, next, how many, how many gametes are involved in double fertilization? Total, how many gametes are involved in double fertilization? Three gametes are involved. Nana. Important, three gametes. Are three gametes low? Two are what? Ra? Two are the male gametes. Ma. Two are the male gametes. Then one is what? Female gamete. One is the female gamete. One is the female gamete. Very, very important. This is. Okay, na? So, in double fertilization process, total five nuclei are involved. Three gametes are involved. Important. Three gametes are involved. Nana. Very, very important. Next, inka ye mani question adu thar nana. In singami, how many number of nuclei are involved? Antar. In singami, how many number of nuclei to nuclei involved? How many gametes are involved in singami? Antar. That is also two gametes are involved. What is the ratio of nuclei and gametes in singami? Antar. What is the ratio of nuclei and gametes in the Singami entered. So 2 is to 2 and 10,000 a simplification that is 1 is to 1. Simple answer. Okay, clear all of you. Next one I am nana. In triple fusion, how many number of nuclei are involved entered? How many number of nuclei total? 3 nuclei are involved. 2 are polar nuclei. 1 is what? Male gamete. Second male gamete. Okay, total 3 nuclei are involved. How many gametes are involved entered? If any gametes nana, only one male gamete is involved. Ra. So, this is very, very important. Triple fusion and singami, both are called as what? Double fertilization. This double fertilization is discovered by the scientist name is what? Navashin. Okay, na? Singami discovered by who are the scientist ma? That is by, so, Strasburger. Singami discovered by Strasburger. Double fertilization discovered by Navashin. Very, very important. Now, this is what? Complete portion of what ma? Double fertilization area. Okay? So, after that, after the fertilization, what are the changes that takes place in a flower? So, they are called as what? Post fertilization structures and events. Ananta. And the fertilization jarigna taravata. Next to flower lopal oche changes in TV. Elanti changes mana can be side. Dani post fertilization structures and events unchepta. Okay na? So, I went to watch the mari one by one manaki. First to end nana. Post fertilization structures and events. Post fertilization, post fertilization structures, structures and events. Post fertilization structures and events. Okay, Nana. So, Chudamari, forced fertilization structures and events are what? What are the forced fertilization structures and events now? First of all, see, after double fertilization, see all of you, zygote, zygote develops into what? Embryo. Zygote develops into what? Ma? Embryo takes place. Important. Then primary endosperm nucleus, Dani Manam Penanam shortcut. Primary endosperm nucleus develops into what? Endosperm. Ananda. Endosperm. Okay, na? Endosperm. Right. Then after ovules, ovules are develops into what? Ma? Seed. Ovules are develops into what about ra? seed. Then after ovary develops into what? Ra? fruit ovules are develops into what ma fruit ovules are develops into fruit okay nana. next ovary wall ovary wall ovary wall develops into what ra? that is fruit wall ma the name is called pericarp pericarp danne manam em antamu fruit wall fruit wall anta fruit wall so what is the function of the pericarp idi question vache avakasam undi nana careful so, function of the pericarp is what? Protective in nature. Protective. Protective in nature. Important. Protective in nature. Pericarp function is what? Protective in nature. Important. Right. Yeah, this is what pericarp information. 
Next, coming to the next one, what about integuments? Yes, very, very important. Integuments are what? Outer integuments, outer integuments, outer integuments, actually that shows what uh, tough and hard layers. Ma. Outer integuments uh, that transformed into outer seed coat, outer seed coat, outer seed coat, the name is called what? Testa. Outer seed coat name is called what ma? Testa. Important. Then inner integuments same out. Inner integuments. You know integuments which are covered. What about ma? New cellless. New cellless ni cover chase to not want to be integuments. So inner integuments then ga maripota. Inner seed coat and inner seed coat. Inner seed coat. Inner seed coat and inner seed coat. Inner seed coat name is called what? Tegmen. Inner seed coat name is called what? Tegmen. Tegmen. Okay, na? Outer integument is what? Outer seed coat. Outer integument is called outer seed coat. Outer integuments that is transformed into outer seed coat. Inner integuments transformed into what? Ma? Inner seed coat. Inner seed coat. Okay, na? Yeah, this is very, very important. Changes are takes place in your flower. Manam in detail information then grunch chusta mari kada. So, in our syllabus, what about endosperm? Endosperm. Okay, na? Endosperm gurunchi. First, endosperm development. After that, what? Embryo development. Then, after what? Ma seed. Then, after what? Fruit gurunchi matlardam. Okay, na? Embryo, endosperm, seed, then fruit. Okay, na? We'll see in detail information one by one. First, manam endosperm gurunchi. What about endosperm now? Endosperm. Endosperm. Yeah, endosperm. Careful ma endosperm. It is triploid triploid tissue, right? Triploid tissue. Triploid tissue. Okay. Yeah. See all of you. Endosperm. How to form? So see, you know, after fertilization. After fertilization, after fertilization, central cell becomes into central cell. Largest cell in the embryo sac is what ma? Central cell. That central cell becomes into central cell becomes into primary endosperm cell. Okay, na? What is that, ra? Primary Primary endosperm cell ga convert out of Primary endosperm cell. Primary endosperm cell ga convert out of Put pet colonna. So after fertilization, central cell becomes into what? Primary endosperm cell. If put next day mouth on the primary endosperm cell. Ere the undo PEC. Primary endosperm cell undergo. A repeatedly division ma repeated division undergo repeated division repeated division out repeated division to form what that is very very important ra that is primary endosperm cell undergo repeated division to form what a triploid tissue triploid tissue triploid tissue the name is called what endosperm the name is called endosperm. Okay, na? Triploid tissue, the name is called what? Endosperm. If you put endosperm that have what? Full of reserve food material. That is a, that contain what ma? Reserve food materials are present inside the endosperm. Reserve food materials are present. Reserve food materials are present. Okay, na? Endosperm. That's why. Endosperm is a nutritive tissue. This type of tissue is a nutritive tissue. Nutritive tissue important. Nutritive tissue. Because of why? So, inside the endosperm cell, the cells have reserved the food material. That's why that is what? Nutritive tissue. Nutritive tissue. Okay? Now, this is about what? Endosperm information. Right, ma? See, all of you, here all of you, endosperm, some very very important points are there. What are the 
endosperm points important points are what see very very important in gymnosperms which type of endosperm is there in gymnosperms endosperm ploid is what in gymnosperms endosperm ploid is what haploid ma endosperm ploid is what haploid 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 okay na endosperm ploid is what haploid uh, in angiosperms in angiosperms in angiosperms endosperm ploid is what diploid endo sorry triploid ma not diploid that is what triploid triploid sir why sir here in gymnosperms endosperm ploid is haploid here angiosperm ploid is what uh, triploid there is a difference is there in angiosperms the endosperm is formed after fertilization okay na after fertilization the product is triploid but in gymnosperms such type of endosperm is formed before fertilization means directly we called ma female gametophyte is also called embryo sac in gymnosperms ra gymnosperms lo manam direct ga female gametophyte name em pilustamu endosperm ananta so that female gametophyte ploid meek telusu already that is also called embryo sac danni manam em pilustunnam ikkada endosperm ananta important important okay nana clear now coming to the next one see all of you starchy endosperm endulo untundi starchy endosperm starchy endosperm starchy endosperm that is present in where ma wheat wheat comma rice rice and one more thing is what maize also maize okay na starchy endosperm is present okay next one alluron layer nature of the endosperm alluron alluron layer alluron layer that is what endosperm alluron layer endosperm that is present in where ma maize maize lo untundi starchy endosperm ni surround chestu unnatuvanti enti ade alluron layer ra that is present in maize okay next one is what oily endosperm endulo untundi oily endosperm oily endosperm endulo untundi oily endosperm that is present in where yes ma castor castor okay na castor next one more is what coconut coconut okay na coconut castor and coconut right next to next one is what ra cellulosic endosperm endulo untundi cellulosic endosperm ya yeah, cellulosic endosperm seen in ivory farm ivory palm ivory palm mokkal palm trees lo untundi nana ivory palm okay nana next to hemi cellulosic hemi cellulosic endosperm hemi cellulosic endosperm seen in where hemi cellulosic endosperm seen in that is in where ma date palms date palms date palms okay na date palms okay these are some important uh, area ra uh, beyond ncert information mana munde anukunnam ee year nmc conduct cheyabodutundi exam so kabatti konchamu beyond ncert information icche avakasam untadi kabatti nerchukovalsinatundi area this is endosperm area right gymnosperms lo endosperm ploid is what haploid ploid nana in angiosperm so endosperm ploid is what triploid ra so starchy endosperm seen in wheat rice and maize ma alluron layer type of endosperm seen in maize lana untundi nana oily endosperm seen in castor and coconut nana cellulosic endosperm seen in ivory palm plant ra hemi cellulosic endosperm seen in date palm plant date palm plant okay na ya yeah, next one again endosperm are two types ra one is free nuclear endosperm anna second one is what ma then cellular endosperm anta two types of endosperms are there one is free nuclear endosperm second one cellular endosperm ananda so here endosperm endosperm again divides into two types ra so the first type is what free nuclear endosperm free nuclear endosperm free nuclear endosperm okay na 
Yeah, the second type is what? Uh, cellular endosperm. Cellular endosperm. Cellular endosperm. Very, 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 very important. Free nuclear endosperm and cellular endosperm. See, Nana. Free nuclear endosperm is the most common type of endosperm. Nana. This one. This one is the most common type. Most common type. Question Alani is that Nana. Most common type of endosperm. Most common type of endosperm that is what? Free nuclear endosperm. So, see now how that is formed free nuclear endosperm now. See ma, this is what embryo sac. Okay, na? This is the embryo sac. Inside the embryo sac, in central cell, in central portion, yeah, this is what primary, imagine that, primary endosperm cell. And kuna. E primary endosperm cell, inside that, what is that? Ra? Primary endosperm nucleus is there pen is present okay na yeah this pen undergo what ra? undergo what is that ma successive divisions successive successive what about ra? successive nuclear divisions takes place successive nuclear divisions are takes place okay na so when successive nuclear divisions are takes place that leads to formation of what student idi nana Successive nuclear division takes place that leads to like this type. And if you have many free nuclear formed, many free nuclear formed. Okay, na? Yeah, this type of uh, this type of endosperm is called what? Free nuclear endosperm. Free nuclear endosperm. Okay, the best example is what? Ra? Yeah, very, very important. Ma, you know that coconut water. Coconut water. Okay, coconut water from tender coconut. Ra. Coconut water is the free nuclear. They contain several thousands of free nuclear present ra inside the coconut water. Very, very, very important. Yeah, that is about what free nuclear endosperm. Ananda. Second type is what? Cellular endosperm. Okay, na? Cellular endosperm means what? See, this is what uh, primary endosperm nucleus. Ra. This primary endosperm nucleus undergo what? That is undergo cell division. Means nucleus undergo successive nuclear division. Ma. So, nuclear division takes place, right? Nuclear division. Yeah, see now. The nuclear division takes place now. Nuclear division. Nuclear division. But uh, each nuclear division is followed by cell wall formation also. Followed by what? Cell wall formation. Cell wall formation. No, no. In the Munduki endosperm, only injury in the just only division of nucleus only takes place. But if you put a along with the nucleus division, each type of nuclear division is followed by what? Ma? Cell wall formation also takes place. Up result in the, what is the now result of that? So the result is what ra, like this is what endosperm inside that. So cellularization like ma this type. So each and every nuclei followed by what a cell wall formation. Now that becomes into what a cellular endosperm. This type of endosperm now this curve. Cellular endosperm, cellular endosperm, ananta. cellular endosperm, okay na? Uh, in center e nana, that is what uh, free nuclear there nana. So that's why this is called what free nuclear endosperm anje poch. Free nuclear endosperm, okay na? Two types of endosperm seen in where? That is very very important. Again example is what ra? Coconut. Again, example is coconut. Elanana. See, all of you, water. Coconut water is the free nuclear endosperm. Manak white kernel unta juranana white kernel. Manan dintam white kernel. Kubari, kubari, tenke kotagane lopala white uh, kernel ganbistuni. That white kernel is called as water cellular endosperm. A white kernel low pala manaki water untunde, coconut water. 
that water is called as what a free nuclear endosperm ante coconut contain how many types of endosperms ante em cheppali meer two types of endosperms nana one is what that is a free nuclear endosperm and second one is what a cellular endosperm two types of endosperms are present nana yeah these are the two types of endosperm one is free nuclear endosperm second one is what a cellular endosperm second type is what ma cellular endosperm okay clear yeah this is about what endosperm information all of you clear ma yes then sir here one line is there why here first of all endosperm development is precedes a embryo development why that is the question is there ma see all of you endosperm development precedes by embryo development means what endosperm development is first endosperm development is first ma first this is only first why why the endosperm development is first because of why because of why ma developing embryo requires what a food material for a developing embryo that requires what about ma food materials requires food material requires food material mari food material evaru degara undi food material is present in where that is inside the endosperm tissue okay na so that's why before that embryo development kanna mundu em start avutundi na endosperm development takes place so that's why endosperm provide assured nutrition to the developing embryos very 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 important that is the one of the adaptation ma so clear yeah this is about what all are endosperm information clear all of you now coming to the next one see here ikkarne manam oka rendu aspects chuddam manam what is that ma endospermic seeds are what non endospermic seeds are what see all of you so the first type is what endospermic seeds ikkade vachindi kabatti seed lo discuss cheyakunte ikkade cheddamu endospermic seeds first type endospermic seeds are also called what albuminous seeds ananda albuminous seeds albuminous seeds anande albuminous seeds endospermous seeds are also called what albuminous seeds anande what about ma endospermic seeds means what yes very very important ra endosperm remains persistent even in the mature seed even in the mature seed even in mature seed in mature seed even in mature seed that means what a endosperm is present endosperm is present that means not utilized ma completely endosperm is present endosperm is present such a type of seeds are called what endospermic seeds mari ipudu ee endosperm eppudu utilize avutundi nana how that is what when it is utilized da so such endosperm is utilized during the seed germination endosperm is utilized utilized during the seed germination time during seed germination time seed germination time and actually here see all of you during the development of embryo endosperm is utilized actually actually okay na but in these plants some of the endosperm is remain persistent okay na before even in the maturation also completed that seed that seed contain little bit amount of what ma endosperm is present so that's why the type of endosperm seeds are called what endospermic seeds na but that endosperm is also utilized during when ma that is in seed germination time okay na seed germination time so the total endosperm is completely utilized okay na but even in the mature seed the endosperm is present so that's why the type of endosperm is called what albuminous seeds or endospermic seeds and chapta example is what what about examples now ikkada very very important examples enna na examples are what ra wheat wheat 
maize, wheat, maize, barley, barley, coconut, coconut, castor, coconut, castor, sunflower also, sunflower like all these are what endospermic seeds example ma the second type is what non endospermic seeds the second type is what non endospermic seeds non endospermic seeds non endospermic seeds danni mana em bilidam non endospermic seeds are also called exalbuminous seeds exalbuminous seeds exalbuminous seeds Exalbuminous seeds are na, non albuminous seeds are na, same. Exalbuminous seeds are non albuminous seeds. That means what? It is very, very important, ma. Endosperm is completely consumed by developing embryo. Okay, na? You see here, endosperm is, endosperm is completely consumed. Endosperm is completely consumed, ma. Endosperm is completely consumed. Completely consumed. Completely consumed. Consumed during the means what by developing pollen. Sorry, developing what about ma? Developing embryo. Consumed developing embryo. By developing by developing embryo developing embryo okay such type of seeds are called uh, non endospermic seeds or exalbuminous seeds ante ikkada enti completely endosperm is what absent ani okay na before the seed maturation ikkada before seed maturation idi kuda undi nanna line in ncrt before seed maturation before seed maturation so that uh, endosperm is completely consumed by developing what embryo takes place. Very, very important. Okay, no, no. but even in mature seed, some amount of endosperm is remain persistent. Such type of seeds are called what? Endospermic seeds. No, no. So, if non-endospermic seeds example, what are the examples here? Very, very important. You know that uh, a famous family that is called what? Ma? Fabaceae, leguminaceae family. Fabaceae or leguminaceae, leguminaceae family. Okay, na? So, that means uh, beans, okay, na? Beans, okay, right? Uh, Pisum, Pisum means pea, ma? Pea, groundnut, 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 arachi cyposia, arachi cyposia, geocarphic fruit is present in uh, groundnut. Which type of fruit is present in groundnut? That is geocarphic fruit. Geocarphic fruit. And fruit is formed inside the soil. Soil local form is the fruit. Alanti fruit name and tamo. Geocarphic fruit. That is a family. Fabaceae family. Okay. Yeah, these are the two types of seeds. One is endospermic seeds. And the second type is what? Non endospermic seeds. Okay. Yeah, this is about complete information of endosperm. Now coming to the next one is what? Embryo. Embryo. Okay, embryo. See all of you, what about embryo? Yes, embryo development occurs at the where ma micropylar end of the embryo sac. Very, 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 very important line. Yes, uh, embryo development uh, that is occurs which side ma? Embryo development. Embryo development. Embryo development that is occurs at which side? Occurs at microphylar end. Microphylar end of embryo sac. Microphylar end of embryo sac. Because why? Because where the zygote is situated. Because where zygote is situated. 
జైగోట్ ఈ సిచ్యువేటెడ్ ఆర్ లొకేటెడ్ మనం ఆల్రెడీ ఇన్ డబుల్ ఫెర్టిలైజేషన్ ఏరియా దట్ ఈస్ కంప్లీటెడ్ రైట్ యా ఇది ఎంబ్రియో శాఖన సో ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇక్కడ మనకి ఏం ఫామ్ అయింది అనుకుందాము జైగోట్ ఈస్ ఫార్మ్డ్ రైట్ జైగోట్ ఓకేనా దిస్ ఈజ్ వాట్ డీజనరేటింగ్ సినర్జీడ్ రైట్ ఓకే ఈ ప్లేస్లో మాత్రమే ఏం ఫామ్ అవుతుంది దిస్ ఈజ్ ద మైక్రోఫైలార్ సైడ్ మైక్రోఫైలార్ సైడ్ ఓకేనా యా దిస్ పోర్షన్ ఈజ్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ వాట్ చలాజల్ సైడ్ ఓకే ఇప్పుడు ఎంబ్రియో డెవలప్మెంట్ టేక్స్ ప్లేస్ టువార్డ్స్ విచ్ సైడ్ మా మైక్రోఫైలార్ సైడ్ ఆఫ్ ద ఎంబ్రియో సాక్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ వై బికాస్ ద జైగోట్ ఈ సిచ్యువేటెడ్ విచ్ విచ్ సైడ్ మా మైక్రోఫైలార్ సైడ్ దట్ ఈస్ ద రీజన్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఓకే నెక్స్ట్ పాయింట్ ఈస్ వాట్ మా ఇంపార్టెంట్ లైన్ జైగోట్ డివైడ్స్ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద జైగోట్ మోస్ట్ జైగోట్ డివైడ్స్ జైగోట్ డివైడ్స్ after certain amount of endosperm is formed after certain endosperm is formed certain amount of certain amount of endosperm is formed endosperm is formed so this is the one of the adaptation because of why that is to provide assured nutrition to the developing what ma embryo okay na so that most of the zygote divides when ma after certain amount of endosperm is formed okay now so see mari ela start avutundi zygote development see all of you so zygote develops into what embryo so that what is the meaning of embryogeny embryogeny means what embryogeny embryogeny means what ma development of embryo from zygote development of embryo development of embryo from zygote development of embryo from zygote yeah the phenomenon is called as what ma embryogeny mar ela develop avutundo chuddam ok sari see all of you yeah for example this is what ra zygote anukunna zygote right this zygote undergo first this is what zygote question is thadu nana kapothe manaki ncrt lo information ledu but diagrammatical representation anedi manaku kanipistundi aa diagrammatical representation nunchi point out chesesi questions frame cheyadaniki chance undi ikkada kabatti zygote first undergo which type of division antadu zygote ke gala maroka peru entanna oospore nana zygote is also called what oospore careful mana careful లైన్ ఇక్కడ చూడండి జైగోట్ అన్న ఊస్పోర్ అన్న సేమ్ రైట్ జైగోట్ అండర్ గో ద ఫస్ట్ డివిజన్ ఈజ్ విచ్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ డివిజన్ మా దట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ వా ట్రాన్స్ఫర్స్ డివిజన్ వెరీ 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 ఇంపార్టెంట్ విచ్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ డివిజన్ టేక్స్ ప్లేస్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్స్ డివిజన్ టేక్స్ ప్లేస్ మా జైగోట్ అండర్ గో ఫస్ట్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్స్ డివిజన్ టేక్స్ ప్లేస్ నౌ దట్ లీడ్స్ టు ఫార్మేషన్ ఆఫ్ వాట్ వెన్ జైగోట్ అండర్ గో ట్రాన్స్ఫర్స్ డివిజన్ టేక్స్ ప్లేస్ టూ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ సెల్స్ ఆర్ ఫార్మడ్ okay na two types of cells they are unequal cells ma one is what this is a for example chalagel side this one is what microphylar side anukunna so means what here see one is what suspensor cell suspensor cell anandi suspensor cell another one is what embryonal cell embryonal cell ananda suspensor cell embryonal cell two cells are formed that is which type of division takes place ma transverse division takes place very 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 important after that this suspensor cell undergo what suspensor cell undergo what ma that is what transverse division takes place again that leads to formation of what that leads to formation of what 6 to 10 celled stage is formed ra how many cell stage ma 6 to 10 celled stage okay na here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 6 to 10 cellular stage is formed now this is called as what that is known as suspensor em antam deni suspensor suspensor okay na so 6 to 10 cellular stage is called what ma suspensor right so see all of you ikkada manaki towards the microphylar side one large cell is there ma in suspensor stage the large cell is called as what hastoria anta what is the name 
ఆస్టోరియా అంటాం ఆస్టోరియా రైట్ మా సో టువర్డ్స్ ద ఎంబ్రియోనల్ సైడ్ ఎంబ్రియోనల్ సెల్ సైడ్ వన్ సెల్ ఈస్ దేర్ మా లాస్ట్ టెర్మినల్ సెల్ ద టెర్మినల్ సెల్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ వాట్ హైపోపైసిస్ అంటాం హైపోపైసిస్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఇవి ఎన్సిఆర్టి డయాగ్రామ్ బేస్డ్ ఉన్న హైపోపైసిస్ ఇది దేని ఫామ్ చేస్తుంది దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ మా రూట్ టిప్ రాడికల్ టిప్ అని అందాం రాడికల్ టిప్ రాడికల్ టిప్ విచ్ ఈస్ ఫార్మ్డ్ రాడికల్ టిప్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ దిస్ ఎంబ్రియోనల్ సెల్ అండర్ గో అగైన్ మైటాటిక్ డివిజన్ టెక్స్ ప్లేస్ ఎంబ్రియోనల్ సెల్ అగైన్ అండర్ గో మైటాటిక్ డివిజన్ టెక్స్ ప్లేస్ టు ఫామ్ వాట్ దట్ ఈస్ టు ఫామ్ వాట్ ఫస్ట్ ప్రో ఎంబ్రియో ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ వాట్ బా దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ హార్ట్ షేప్డ్ దెన్ ఆఫ్టర్ గ్లోబులార్ షేప్ దెన్ ఆఫ్టర్ వాట్ హార్ట్ షేప్డ్ ఫైనలీ వాట్ మెచ్యూర్ ఎంబ్రియో టెక్స్ ప్లేస్ సో నా సి ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ ఎంబ్రియోనల్ సెల్ ఎంబ్రియోనల్ సెల్ అండర్ గో సక్సెసివ్ మైటాటిక్ డివిజన్ టేక్స్ ప్లేస్ ఎంబ్రియోనల్ సెల్ ఎంబ్రియోనల్ సెల్ అండర్ గో వాట్ సక్సెసివ్లీ విస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ డివిజన్ టేక్స్ ప్లేస్ మైటాటిక్ డివిజన్ టేక్స్ ప్లేస్ మైటాటిక్ డివిజన్ టేక్స్ ప్లేస్ మైటాటిక్ డివిజన్ దట్ లీడ్స్ టు వాట్ ఎంబ్రియోనల్ సెల్ లీడ్స్ టు ఫస్ట్ దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ మా ప్రో ఎంబ్రియో ప్రో ఎంబ్రియో ఈస్ ఫార్మడ్ దెన్ ప్రో ఎంబ్రియో ఫాలోడ్ బై వాట్ గ్లోబ్యులార్ షేప్ దెన్ ఫాలోడ్ బై వాట్ హార్ట్ షేప్డ్ హార్ట్ షేప్డ్ దెన్ ఫైనల్లీ దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ మెచ్యూర్ ఎంబ్రియో మెచ్యూర్ ఎంబ్రియో this is very very important that is there in ncrt okay na embryonal cell undergo mitotic division takes place that is to form what pro embryo then pro embryo leads to what globular globular to what heart shape heart shape to what finally mature embryo takes place yeah this is what development of what zygote into embryo formation that is called as embryogeny see then all of you in early stages actually <clears throat> my monocot seeds and dicot seeds greatly differ seeds are differ seeds are differ actually greatly differ but ma early stage of embryogeny early stage of embryogeny early stage of embryogeny that is similar early stage of embryogeny is what similar similar same anamata early stage of embryogeny is similar but seeds are greatly differ seeds are greatly differ okay na yeah, this is about what zygote to embryo formation now again embryos are two types ma what are the two types now see <coughs> first type is what embryo embryos are how many types of embryos are there there are the two types of embryos ra one is dicotyledonous embryo dicotyledonous embryo dicotyledonous embryo second one is what monocotyledonous embryo dicotyledonous embryo and monocotyledonous embryo anta so see now what about dicotyledonous embryo now so dicotyledonous embryo consist of what dicotyledonous embryo consist of embryonal axis embryonal axis what is that ma embryonal axis embryonal axis embryonal axis this is also called as what this is also called as what tigellum tigellum embryonal axis and tigellum the second one is what ma that is uh, two cotyledons are present how many cotyledons are present two cotyledons are present very very important one is embryonal axis or tigellum the next one is what two cotyledons are present now what about in monocotyledonous embryo right here also what they have what embryonal axis is present embryonal axis embryonal axis is present then only one large shield shaped cotyledon is present large shield shaped cotyledon right ma the large shield shaped cotyledon only one is there ma 
yeah the large shield shaped cardildan is called what very 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 important the name is called scutellum idi question vastadu nana the large shield shaped cardildan is called what scutellum very very important that is seen in only grass grass family means monocots ane venti nana they are grass grass families right so in the grass family one of the large shield shaped cardildan is present the name is called what scutellum scutellum anta ok sari chuddam mari so dicot embryo dicotylidanous embryo dicotylidanous embryo dicotylidanous embryo right yes see all of you what about ma that embryo has a embryonal axis the name is called what tizellum annanu embryonal axis name is called what tizellum yeah this is what tizellum ra see tizellum like this is the tizellum 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 is also called what embryonal axis anna embryonal axis this is called tizellum then this embryonal axis has how many cotyledons are there ma there are the two cotyledons are present how many cotyledons are present two cotyledons are present right yeah these two are what these two are what cotyledons cotyledons okay na now this portion is called what embryonal axis embryonal axis important embryonal axis right now see all of you then the portion of embryonal axis above the level of cotyledon paina above the level of cotyledon ivi cotyledons deeni paina above the level of cotyledon that is called what this name is called what that name is called what epicotyle anta this name is called what ma epicotyle this epicotyle terminates into what epicotyle terminates into what plumule or stem tip plumule or stem tip important na the next one cylindrical portion ikkada undi na cylindrical portion cylindrical portion below the cotyledons below the cotyledon the name is called what hypocotyle anna hypocotyle anandi hypocotyle yeah this hypocotyle terminates into what hypocotyle terminates into what ma that is very very important radical radical r root tip radical r root tip nana usually root tips are covered by what root cap root tip ni cover chestu em untundi manaki root cap is present yeah this is about what dicotyledonous embryo so once see all of you these are the cotyledons ela unnai half and fleshy okay na full of reserve food materials are present okay right yeah this is about what dicotyledonous embryo information now see monocotyledonous embryo monocotyledonous monocotyledonous i already told you monocotyledon means how many cotyledons are there only one cotyledon is present that is large shield shaped cotyledon is present that is name is called what monocotyledon anna monocotyledon right yes see all of you monocotyledon very very important thing is what yes it has also what embryonal axis is present it is also has what embryonal axis is also present ma then now coming to the next one is what uh, only one cotyledon is present only one cotyledon is present that is shield shaped cotyledon anna that type of cotyledon is called what shield shaped cotyledon yeah this is what alluron layer ra this name is called alluron layer alluron layer that is made up of proteinaceous ra inside this one this complete portion is called what endosperm this is starchy endosperm anandale starchy endosperm this one because of this is maize ma maize okay na yeah see all of you this is what endosperm this one is endosperm endosperm okay na yeah this is called what alluron layer alluron layer alluron layer endosperm and alluron layer okay na yeah coming to the next one yeah this is very very important yeah only one cotyledon is there ma this is the one cotyledon the name is called what scutellum okay na 
this is one of the cardildan name ra the name is called what scutellum this is scutellum large shield shaped cardildan the name is called what scutellum okay yes inside the yes see all of you this is embryo this is the one of the embryo that is present one lateral side ma inside the embryo embryonal axis is present ra yes this is embryonal axis that embryonal axis has what embryonal axis has what ma that is very very important the portion of what at lower end at lower end the embryonal axis has radical radical embryonal axis has what radical and what root tip radical and root tip which are enclosed by this is what enclosed layer which are enclosed by what these are enclosed by what enclosed by undifferentiated sheath the name is called as what coleoriza and what is the name coleoriza very 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 important clear mala coming to the next one is what next one see this is what portion of the embryonal axis right this is complete portion ikka nunchi ikka varaku unnadu mottham embryonal axis portion of the embryonal axis above the level of attachment of scutellum above the level of idantha scutellum Above the level of attachment of scutellum, okay now there is what shoot apex is present. Very very important. That is what ma shoot apex. Okay. Next to see all of you, the shoot apex is enclosed by what? That is few leaf primordia, leaf primordia. Okay now and also hollow polyer structure is there. Yeah. First of all, this is what plumule is there ma plumule. then it is enclosed by hollow foliar structure the hollow foliar structure is called as what coleoptile ananda what is that name coleoptile simple ra nana plumule ni surround chestu unna leaf like primordia like structures are called what ra coleoptile anandi radical and root tip ni cover chestu unnatuvanti re undifferentiated sheath name annamo coleoriza anta like this type of coleoptile coleoriza are absent in where Dicardylidanous seeds, but present in where ma monocardylidanous monocardylidanous embryo. This is very 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 important. Okay na? Yeah, these are what a complete portion of the dicardylidanous embryo and monocardylidanous embryo information. Uh, now move on embryo after next one is what uh, seed. So what about now seed? Gurinch seed ante na na chuda. Seed is what? Yeah, important uh, seed area. seed yeah final product final product of sexual reproduction is what that is there in the line ana in ncert final product final product of sexual reproduction final product product of sexual reproduction that is what seeds final product of sexual reproduction that is what ma seeds seeds very very important मन सीड मन विधा डिफाइन चेयचु वट इज दट दफिनेशन आफ सीड सीड मीन वाट दीड मीन वाट फर्टिलइज ओव्यूल ईज का वाट सीड फर्टिलइज ओव्यूल ओके फर्टिलइज ओव्यूल दट नेम ईज का वाट सीड फर्टिलइज ओव्यूल नेम ना सीड फर्टिलइज ओव्यूल ईज का वाट सीड इंपारटे ओके फर्टिलइज ओव्यूल रईट now coming to the next one yes seed consist how many parts are there ma yes actually the seeds are present in where fruit seeds are present in fruits seeds are present in fruits important you know that seeds may be you know that seeds may be what about ma may be that is what endospermic endospermic i already told you this one endospermic or non endospermic seeds are may be endospermic or non endospermic seeds i already told you this information in detail information no need to hear okay next seed consist how many parts now this is important seed consist how many parts see all of you seed consist how many parts ma that is what one is seed coat one is what seed coat seed coat 
then second one is what embryo means embryonal axis inside that embryonal axis means embryo embryo right embryo ma embryo is present embryo then the third one is what are cotyledons are present cotyledons okay na cotyledons now a very important thing is what in legumes cotyledons of embryo generally thick and swollen thick and swollen generally generally thick and swollen thick and swollen endulo nana in legumes legume cotyledons generally thick and swollen important right ma so seed coat this is what seed coat outer most covering layer seed coat then inside what is that present ma embryo is present then inside that is what ra cotyledons are present these are the parts are present in where seed important ra okay right now coming to the next one see all of you seed coat is there ma so means integuments of ovules most important line integuments of ovules integuments of ovules integuments of ovules ah see integuments of ovules hard and and tough hard and tough protective layers hard and tough protective layers ra protective layers hard and tough protective layers what are they integuments of ovules enti avi chuddha mari outer integuments i already told to you outer integuments nu em ani pilustam nana outer integuments after that fertilization outer integuments transformed into what that is what ra testa testa anna then inner integuments is called what inner integument inner integuments very very important ma inner integuments మరి ఇన్నర్ ఇంటెగ్మెంట్స్ ఆర్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ వాట్ టెగ్మెన్ టెగ్మెన్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఇన్నర్ ఇంటెగ్మెంట్స్ ట్రాన్స్ఫార్మ్డ్ ఇన్ టు వాట్ టెగ్మెన్ ఔటర్ ఇంటెగ్మెంట్స్ ట్రాన్స్ఫార్మ్డ్ ఇన్ టు వాట్ టెస్ట్ బోత్ ఆర్ సీడ్ కోర్స్ ఈ సీడ్ కోర్స్ ఎక్కడ వేయచ్చుగా ఇంటెగ్మెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ ద ఓవ్యూల్స్ ఇంటెగ్మెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ ద ఓవ్యూల్స్ ఆర్ హార్డ్ టఫ్ ప్రొటెక్టివ్ లేయర్స్ వాటిని మనం ఏమంటాము సీడ్ కోర్స్ వెరీ 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 ఇంపార్టెంట్ దే ఆర్ హార్డ్ సీడ్ కోర్స్ ఏం చేస్తే మరి ఇవి యాక్చువల్లీ దే ఆర్ ప్రొటెక్ట్ ద ఎంబ్రియో protects the embryo very very important seed coats deni protect chestayi embryo nu protect chestayi most important ra yeah this is about what integuments information next one microphyll you know that microphyll where the integuments are absent the region is called what ma microphyll so now microphyll as remains as microphyll as remains as pore or passage on the seed coat okay na వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ రా మరి మైక్రోఫైల్ ఏమవుతుందని అన్నాడు మైక్రోఫైల్ 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 యాజ్ రిమైన్స్ యాజ్ రిమైన్స్ యాజ్ పోర్ ఆర్ ప్యాసేజ్ పోర్ ఆర్ ప్యాసేజ్ ఇన్ వేర్ మా ఇన్ ద సీడ్ కోట్ ఆ సీడ్ కోట్ పైన అలానే ఏముంటుందంట ఒక పోర్ లైక్ స్ట్రక్చర్ ఈస్ ప్రెసెంట్ సీడ్ పోర్ అని అన్నా వాట్ ఈస్ దట్ ఫంక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ద పోర్ ఆర్ ప్యాసేజ్ ఓకేనా దట్ ఈస్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ మా ఎంట్రీ ఆఫ్ ఎంట్రీ ఆఫ్ ఆక్సిజన్ అండ్ వాటర్ దట్ ఫెసిలిటేట్ వాట్ మా ఎంట్రీ ఆఫ్ ఆక్సిజన్ అండ్ వాటర్ డ్యూరింగ్ ద సీడ్ జర్మినేషన్ డ్యూరింగ్ ద సీడ్ జర్మినేషన్ టైప్ during the seed germination time that is what that is facilitates the uh, entry of what oxygen and water which one ra microphyll that is remains as pore like or passage like structure present on the seed coat after fertilization also microphyll a matram kuda degenerate avadu nana that is remains as on the seed coat seed coat paine manaku chinna pore like structure kanapadutundi that is called what ra yes ma pore or passage microphyll okay that is present on the seed coat then your main function is this question raw and kaukash mundi na that is facilitates what entry and exit that facilitates what entry sorry entry of what 
ऑक्सीजन एंड वाटर ड्यूरिंग दट वाट मा सीड जर्मिनेशन टाइम मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ओके नेक्स्ट वन नेक्स्ट वन एज सीड मेच्यूर्स वॉट हैपन्स सीड मेच्यूर्स सीड मेच्यूर्स वॉट हैपन्स इयर दिस इज वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट सीड मेच्यूर्स वॉट हैपन्स मा दट इज वॉट वाटर कंटेंट इज रेड्यूस्ड वाटर कंटेंट इज वॉट रेड्यूस्ड वाटर कंटेंट इज रेड्यूस्ड वाटर कंटेंट इज रेड्यूस्ड ओके ना दट इज रीच टू वाट ये टेन टू फिफ्टीन पर्सेंट ऑफ मैचर बै मास् टेन टू फिफ्टीन पर्सेंट आफ मैचर बै मास्तवर रीच अवकाश हो टेन टू फिफ्टीन पर्सेंट आफ मैचर बै वाश दट इज रेड्यूस्ड वाटर कंटेंट मर अब वाटर कंटेंट रेड्यूस वाट हापन टेक्स प्लेस मा दट इज वेरी 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 इंपारटेंट सो दट मीन वाट एंब्रिओनल ऐक्टिविटी आर् स्लो डाउन एंब्रिओनल ऐक्टिविटी आर् स्लो डाउन इवन प्रति लाइन इज देर इन एनसीआर टी क्वेश्चन एरिया जाग्रत को ड्रई आ पार्टा पेजंत अलाने कहीं मन जाग्रत बतुवाली वेरी वेरी इंपारटे लाइन अभी क्वेश्चन वे एरिया कांसट्रेटी एव्री लाइन इतना एंब्रिओनल ऐक्टिविटी एंब्रिओनल ऐक्टिविटी आर् वाट स्लो डाउन टेक्स प्लेस स्लो डाउन वे एंब्रिओनल ऐक्टिविटी आर् स्लो डाउन वाट हापन मा सीड दट इज वाट इनाक्टिव इन स्टेट एंब्रिओ सो एंब्रिओ ईज इनाक्टिव इन स्टेट इन सैड द सीड एंब्रिओ ईज इनाक्टिवेट ओके so embryo inactivates embryo inactivate when embryo is inactivate now that is called what the phenomenon is called what ma dormancy dormancy most important the phenomenon is called what dormancy nana this dormancy is absent in mangrove plants dormancy absent in where which type of plants mangrove plants mangrove plants enduko telusa meeku mangrove plants they show what vivipari they show what vivipari ante enti nana ivi mother plant pai unnapude seeds germinate avutayi okay na mother plants pai unnapude em avutayi seeds germinate avutayi ala antappudu vaadiki dormancy avasaram ledhu so that is one of the strategy right ma so this is what vivipari show what mangrove plants important embryo is inactivate inactivate the condition is called what ma dormancy sir when it is seed germination takes place ma when the seed germination takes place seed germination when it is takes place see all of you that is what when favorable conditions are written when favorable conditions are written when favorable conditions favorable conditions anna when favorable conditions are written when favorable conditions are written mari enti visara vi favorable conditions are what that is what adequate moisture adequate moisture moisture enta undali taginanta undalanta adequate moisture then what oxygen then what suitable temperature all these are the lines are there in ncert suitable temperature na na these are very very important when the favorable conditions are written what happens again that means what seed germination takes place now seed germination takes place okay na overcome the dormancy now that leads to formation of what ma germination of the seed takes place yeah this is what seed germination this is what uh, dormancy when seed maturation takes place that undergo the process is called what uh, dormancy most important right ma yeah this is about what seed information some next to see all of you ovules are transformed into seed right you know that ovules are transformed into seed then ovary is transformed into what fruit so means transformation of the ovules into seed transformation of the ovary into fruit both are what that is simultaneous process simultaneous this is also there in ncert simultaneous process important next what about ma some uh, specific features about what fruit fruit 
Yes, you know already I told you. Ripened means what? Ma? Fertilized ovary. Fertilized ovary that is called what fruit? Fertilized ovary. Yes. Fertilized ovary that is called what? Ma? Fruit. The name is called what? True fruit. True fruit. Ananta. True fruit. Okay, na? Again, the true fruit. No need na, na detail information. Just basic information is enough. Again, true fruits are what? Ra? That is the fleshy. Fleshy fruits. Anali. Then uh, dry fruits. Ananda. Fleshy fruits and dry fruits. Two types of fruits are there. Any more fleshy fruits example is what? Fleshy fruits example is mango, mango, orange. Okay, na? Mango, orange, like uh, they are what ma? Fleshy fruits example. Then next one is what? Dry fruits example is what? Mustard, mustard, next groundnut, mustard, groundnut, groundnut. Okay, na? So one more uh, mango, coconut also. Coconut, yeah, that is also right. Ma, these are very very important. Ra, fleshy fruits and dry fruits. There are the two types. Coming to the next one. Actually, here ovary is involved in fertilization. That is to form what fruit. But most important thing is what parthenocarpic fruit means. What parthenocarpic fruit? What is the meaning of parthenocarpic fruit? Yeah, parthenocarpic fruit means what? Here, uh, ovary develops into fruit but without fertilization. Very, very important. Okay, na ovary develops into fruit. Ovary develops into fruit. But what happens, ma? That is what? Without fertilization. Without fertilization. Without fertilization. Marika, ain't it true fruit and ain't it, Nana? That is what fertilization is takes place compulsory. But parthenocarpic fruit means without fertilization, ovary develops into what fruit? That is called parthenocarpic fruit. So parthenocarpic fruits are induced by how? The parthenocarpic fruits are induced by some growth hormones, ma. Induced by some plant growth regulators like what auxins. Okay, na? Auxins. Very, very important, right? Example is what? Banana. Banana, banana is the parthenocarpic fruit. Nana, these parthenocarpic fruits they are seedless. They are what seedless fruits. Commercially they are useful. Okay, na. This is very very important. Next one more category is what ra? False fruits are false fruits. What ne manamu pseudo carpic fruits ananta. False fruits are also called what pseudo carpic fruits. Pseudo carpic fruits. Yeah, what is the name of the false fruits or pseudo carpic fruits means what? Yes, along with ovary. Along with ovary. Along with ovary. Other floral parts also contribute to the formation of fruit. Other floral parts. Other floral parts also. Contribute to formation of fruit. Contribute to formation of fruit. Formation of fruit. And the end of the day, ovary to part ga, where floral parts guda fruit ni form jesthai. What are the examples? Other floral parts are what? For example, you know that apple, strawberry, Strawberry, then what? Cashew nut. Cashew nut. Okay, na? Apple, strawberry, and cashew nut. Then see here, apple and strawberry. In these two, thalamus is contribute to the formation of fruit. Manam dine apple e deito undo, apple manam thalamus matram edible portion na. A thalamus is the fleshy, right? That is what. Contribute to the formation of fruit is called what? Pseudocarpic fruit. Cashew nut. Cashew nut is what? That is pedicil. Cashew nut lo manaku pedicil ane de mautundi that is involved in the formation of what fruit is known as what? Parthino, sorry, pseudocarpic fruit or false fruit. Ananta. So these are the fruits ma. There are the three types of fruits. One is true fruit. Second one, 
పార్తెనోకార్ఫిక్ ఫ్రూట్ థర్డ్ వన్ ఈస్ వాటర్ ఫాల్స్ ఫ్రూట్స్ ఆర్ సూడో కార్ఫిక్ ఫ్రూట్స్ దీస్ ఆర్ ద త్రీ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్రూట్స్ ఆర్ దే ఇంపార్టెంట్ రా ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఏరియా కంపల్సరీ క్వశ్చన్ ఏరియా డయాగ్రామ్స్ ఉన్నాయి ఒకసారి చెక్ చేసుకోవాలి నెక్స్ట్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఈస్ వాట్ సీడ్స్ ఆఫర్ సెవరల్ అడ్వాంటేజెస్ టు ద యాంజియో స్పమ్స్ సీడ్స్ ఆఫర్ సెవరల్ అడ్వాంటేజెస్ సెవరల్ అడ్వాంటేజెస్ టు ద యాంజియో స్పమ్స్ టు ద యాంజియో స్పమ్స్ very 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 important statements are there careful ma seeds offer several advantages to the angiosperms mari em em advantages unnai manaki chuddam mari one by one seeds offer several advantages to the angiosperms an annan so one by one chuddam nana first advantage is what that is what so during that uh, reproductive process reproductive process first one is what during the reproductive process like what ma what are the reproductive process like one is pollination one is pollination second one is what ra fertilization pollination and fertilization so both the process are independent of water independent of what water independent of water but nana seed formation is but seed formation is more dependable seed formation is more dependable more dependable very 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 important ante seed formation ki maatram compulsory water is required kaani pollination ki fertilization ki independent of water in angiosperms nana careful mala మళ్ళీ బ్రయోఫైట్స్ టెరిడోఫైట్స్ లో వాటర్ ఈజ్ రిక్వైర్డ్ ఫర్ ద ట్రాన్స్పోర్ట్ ఆఫ్ మెయిల్ గ్యామెట్స్ అండ్ ఆల్సో ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ నేను ఇక్కడ ఏమని రాయించాను రాశానన్న స్టేట్మెంట్ యాంజియోస్పమ్స్ గురించి మాత్రమే మాట్లాడుతున్నాను సో దట్ పాలినేషన్ అండ్ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ ఇండిపెండెంట్ ఆఫ్ వాట్ వాటర్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ క్లియర్ నౌ కమింగ్ టు ద నెక్స్ట్ నెక్స్ట్ ఏరియా ఈస్ వాట్ సెకండ్ ఆస్పెక్ట్ ఈస్ వాట్ సీడ్స్ హ్యావ్ బెటర్ అడాప్టివ్ స్ట్రాటజీ దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ డిస్పర్సల్ టు seeds are dispersal to new habitat important ma seeds are dispersal to new habitat seeds are dispersal to dispersal to new habitat new habitat nana em avuthe anta seeds anevi oka place nunchi inko place ki dispersal avutha with the help of animals okay na వాటిని జూ కోరి అనొచ్చు లేదా విత్ ద హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ వాటర్ దట్ ఈస్ కాల్ హైడ్రో కోరి అంటాం లైక్ దట్ సీడ్స్ ఆర్ డిస్పర్సల్ టు న్యూ హ్యాబిటాట్ మరి అక్కడ ఏమైతుంది దట్ హెల్ప్స్ వాట్ దట్ హెల్ప్స్ టు వాట్ మా కాలనైజ్ దట్ హెల్ప్స్ టు వాట్ కాలనైజ్ అదర్ ఏరియా కాలనైజ్ టు వాట్ అదర్ ఏరియా అంటే అదర్ ఏరియాలో ఏమవుతాయి గ్రూప్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్గనిజమ్స్ అనేవి డెవలప్ అవుతాయి ఎప్పుడు వెన్ సీడ్స్ ఆర్ డిస్పర్సల్ టు ద న్యూ హ్యాబిటాట్ ఏరియా దట్ ఈస్ ద వన్ ఆఫ్ ద స్ట్రాటజీ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఈస్ వాట్ సీడ్స్ హ్యావ్ ఫుల్ ఆఫ్ రిజర్వ్ ఫుడ్ మెటీరియల్ ఓకేనా సీడ్స్ హ్యావ్ సఫీసియంట్ ఫుడ్ మెటీరియల్ సఫీసియంట్ ఫుడ్ మెటీరియల్ ఈస్ దేర్ ఫుడ్ మెటీరియల్ సఫీసియంట్ ఫుడ్ మెటీరియల్ దట్స్ వై యంగ్ సీడ్లింగ్స్ నౌరిషింగ్ నన సో యంగ్ సీడ్లింగ్స్ యంగ్ సీడ్లింగ్స్ young seedlings are used for used for what about ma used that is what nutrition very very important okay na see all of you young seedlings are utilized utilized such type of food utilized such type of food type of food until eppra varaku mana idi until until capable of uh, photosynthesizing on their own until capable of photosynthesize photosynthesize on their own on their own this is also one of the important feature okay na next ikkada entanta photosynthesis jarigeyanta varaku seed lo unna food 
ఈ యంగ్ సీడ్లింగ్స్ అనేవి యూటిలైజ్ చేసుకొని గ్రో అవుతూ ఉంటాయి ఎస్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఈస్ వాట్ యా బీయింగ్ సెక్స్వల్ రిప్రొడక్షన్ బీయింగ్ ప్రోడక్ట్ ఆఫ్ వాట్ సెక్స్వల్ రిప్రొడక్షన్ దీస్ ఆర్ సీడ్స్ అనేవి ఏంటివి బీయింగ్ ప్రోడక్ట్ ఆఫ్ సెక్స్వల్ రిప్రొడక్షన్ ప్రోడక్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ వాట్ మా సెక్స్వల్ రిప్రొడక్షన్ సెక్స్వల్ రిప్రొడక్షన్ ఓకే దట్స్ వై దే జనరేట్ దే జనరేట్ new combinations new combinations that generate what new combinations that leads to variation that leads to what variation important line this is also there in ncert being products of what about being products of sexual reproduction they are what seeds seeds are the product of sexual reproduction ida uh, seeds are the products of uh, seeds are products of what sexual reproduction they generate new combination leads to what variation one of the important next point is what seeds are the basis of agriculture very 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 important seeds are the basis of our agriculture basis of our agriculture our agriculture nana without seed cannot imagine means can you imagine that agriculture that is not possible right so very very important that's why these are what basis of our agriculture is what seeds ma okay what are the crucial storage methods for seed nana seed storage methods are what so seed storage methods seed storage methods are what seed storage methods are two ma one is a first one is what dehydration dehydration okay na first one is dehydration second one is what dormancy these are the crucial for storage crucial okay na so dehydration ante anduke chudandi nana vyavsayadarlu first harvest chesin tarvata rice ni aa paddy vaatni enda pedtaru dehydration chestaru ఆ డిహైడ్రేషన్ చేసి వాటిని ఏం చేస్తాం స్టోర్ చేస్తాం డిహైడ్రేషన్ అంటే టెన్ టు ఫిఫ్టీన్ పర్సెంట్ ఆఫ్ వాటర్ కంటెంట్ కంప్లీట్ ఏమైపోద్ది రెడ్యూస్ అయిపోతే అప్పుడు అది ఇన్యాక్టివ్ స్టేట్ లోకి వెళ్తుంది దట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ వాట్ డార్మెన్సీ ఐ ఆల్రెడీ టోల్డ్ టు యూ దట్ ఈస్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఆల్సో ఓకేనా నెక్స్ట్ వన్ అండ్ ఆల్సో వాట్ సీడ్స్ ఆర్ అండ్ ఆల్సో వాట్ హెల్ప్స్ టు వాట్ సీడ్స్ ఆర్ హెల్ప్స్ టు వాట్ రైజ్ న్యూ క్రాప్స్ రైజ్ క్రాప్స్ ఇన్ నెక్స్ట్ సీజన్ ఇన్ నెక్స్ట్ సీజన్ ఆల్సో నెక్స్ట్ సీజన్ మరి ఆ సీడ్సే మనకి నెక్స్ట్ సీజన్ కి న్యూ క్రాప్స్ డెవలప్ చేయడానికి యూజ్ చేస్తా ఉంటాం నెక్స్ట్ వన్ యు నో ఆల్రెడీ ఐ టోల్డ్ యూ సీడ్స్ హ్యావ్ ఫుల్ ఆఫ్ రిజర్వ్ ఫుడ్ మెటీరియల్ సీడ్స్ హ్యావ్ రిజర్వ్ ఫుడ్ మెటీరియల్ రిజర్వ్ ఫుడ్ మెటీరియల్ దట్స్ వై దట్స్ వై రిజర్వ్ ఫుడ్ మెటీరియల్ విచ్ ఈస్ యూజ్డ్ యాజ్ త్రూ అవుట్ ద ఇయర్ విచ్ ఈస్ యూజ్డ్ యాజ్ ఫుడ్ used as food throw out the year throw out the year which is used as throw out the year manam throw out year manam vaatni storage cheskoni food ga use chestuntam nana yeah these are what all are the advantages of what uh, seeds em em unnana what are the advantages are there see all of you reproduction process like what pollination fertilization they are independent of water but seed formation is what more defendable anna next seeds are dispersal to new habitat that helps to what colonize the other areas seeds have sufficient food materials ma so that's why young seedlings are utilize such type of food material until they capable of what photosynthesis on their own then seeds products of sexual reproduction actually they generate new combination that leads to what about ma variations next seeds are going to be basis of our agriculture then seed storage methods are two one is dehydration second one is dormancy both are crucial next seeds are navy they also helps to what raise the crops in next season seeds lo em undanna reserve food materials are present that's why which are used as food throughout the year ma this is very very important next one is what seed viability seed viability సీడ్ వయ్యేబిలిటీ మన పోలిన్ వయ్యేబిలిటీ లెక్కనే సీడ్ వయ్యేబిలిటీ దట్ మీన్స్ వాట్ ద 
that means what uh, seeds retain power of germination power of germination retain the power of germination that is called what seed viability yeah this seed viability is not the same that is also what variable variable mari manaku one of the oldest viable seed anevi unnai nana enti what are the oldest viable seed seeds so the first one is what lupin lupine lupine scientific name is lupine lupinus arcticus arcticus that means what this type of seed excavated from arctic tundra this is excavated from excavated from arctic tundra nan arctic tundra andike danaka peru ochindi you know this is the family is what fabaceae family ra arctic tundra lupine is the fabaceae family ornamental family you know that fabaceae member ornamental plant ornamental yeah see all of you this type of lupine what is the viability period so these lupine seeds germinated and flowered seeds are germinated and flowered seeds are germinated and flowered after 10000 years of dormancy 10000 years anta chudandi 10000 years of dormancy lo unna tarvata aa seed ఏమైందంటే జర్మినేట్ అయ్యి ఫ్లవర్స్ ని ప్రొడ్యూస్ చేసింది అంటే ఎంత కెపాసిటీ ఎంత రిటైన్ పవర్ ఆఫ్ ద జర్మినేషన్ ఈస్ దేర్ మా ఇన్ దట్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ సీడ్ దట్ ఈస్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ల్యూపైన్ ఓకేనా నెక్స్ట్ వన్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఈస్ డేట్ పామ్ దట్ ఈస్ ఫొనెక్స్ డాక్టైలీ ఫెరా ఫొనెక్స్ డాక్టైలీ ఫెరా డాక్టైలీ ఫెరా దాన్ని మనం ఏమంటాము డేట్ పామ్ అని అంటాం డేట్ పామ్ డేట్ పామ్ ఓకేనా yeah this is also what one of the oldest viable period ma viable seed germination that is what 2000 years of dormancy 2000 years of dormancy ide ippudu excavate chesa nana during archaeological during archaeological archaeological excavation excavation archaeological excavation ekkada nana eta king herod palace king herod palace very very important king herod palace near dead sea near dead sea near dead sea nana important okay yeah this is also one of the viability period one is lupine second one is date palm most important next to smallest seeds ma dust seeds an antam manamu tiny seeds tiny seeds ekkada untai mari tiny seeds okay na they are what smallest seeds smaller small seeds ananda small seeds the best example is what one is orchid ma orchids orchids lo unna seeds ni em antamu dust seeds ananta dust seeds very very important these are the smallest seeds second one is orobanki 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 then third one is what striga striga then next one is what ficus also ficus so veetlo em untai nana they have in each fruit they contain what number of tiny seeds are present number of tiny seeds are present okay na yeah this is about what all are yes ma seed information right ma yeah these are the seed complete portion now coming to the last aspect in this chapter okate okate migili poyindi manaki that is what apomixis chuddam mari apomixis what about ma apomixis means what generally seeds are formed after fertilization only right ma you know that fertilized ovule is called as what ma seed but nana few angiosperms few flowering plants anan lekar angiosperms ana no problem few angiosperms because angiosperms ni manam flowering plants anta few angiosperms some species of what asteraceae asteraceae some species of asteraceae and grass and grass eetlo em avutund annadu that means what without fertilization 
without fertilization without fertilization without fertilization yes what about ma seed formation takes place without fertilization seed formation takes place without fertilization seed formation takes place now this type of process is called as what apomixis anta yes ma see very very important there are the many ways are there to development of apomectic seeds yes it is what actually it's a form of a asexual reproduction it's a form of asexual reproduction idi oka asexual reproduction but kaani that mimics what but mimics what a sexual reproduction mimics of what ma sexual reproduction అంటే యాక్చువల్లీ ఇది అసెక్సువల్ రిప్రొడక్షన్ కానీ చూడ్డానికి ఎలా కనిపిస్తుంది అంటున్నాడు దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ సెక్సువల్ రిప్రొడక్షన్ టైప్ లో కనిపిస్తుంది ఓకేనా బట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ వాట్ అసెక్సువల్ రిప్రొడక్షన్ అపోమిక్స్ ఈస్ ద వన్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ అసెక్సువల్ రిప్రొడక్షన్ యా వెరీ 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 ఇంపార్టెంట్ సి నవ్ సమ్ స్పీసీస్ ఆఫ్ వాట్ సమ్ స్పీసీస్ ఏం జరుగుతుంది నాన్న డిప్లాయిడ్ ఎగ్ డిప్లాయిడ్ ఎగ్ డిప్లాయిడ్ ఎగ్ ఓకేనా విచ్ ఈస్ ఫార్మ్డ్ వితౌట్ రిడక్షన్ డివిజన్ which is formed which is formed without reduction division ante ikkada without reduction means without meiosis division without meiosis okay na this diploid egg undergo develops into what ma embryo develops into what ra embryo formation okay na in some species right next one most important thing is what that is in like this is what actually embryo sac anukunda embryo sac okay na ipudu embryo sac ni cover chestu manaki these cells are called what new cellless cells these are called what new cellless cells ananda all these are called what ma new cellless cells ananda new cellless okay na so what happens in mango and citrus very 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 important mango citrus ఆరెంజ్ నన ఆరెంజెస్ ఆరెంజెస్ ఓకేనా విల్ సీ నవ్ దీస్ న్యూ సెల్లెస్ సెల్స్ దీస్ ఆర్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ వాట్ న్యూ సెల్లెస్ న్యూ సెల్లెస్ యా దీస్ న్యూ సెల్లెస్ సెల్స్ స్టార్ట్ డివైడింగ్ అండ్ ప్రొట్రూడ్ ఇన్ టు ది ఎంబ్రియో శాక్ ఓకేనా స్టార్ట్ డివైడింగ్ అండ్ ప్రొట్రూడ్ ఇన్ టు ది ఎంబ్రియో శాక్ నవ్ దే డెవలప్స్ ఇన్ టు వాట్ ఎంబ్రియో దే డెవలప్స్ ఇన్ టు వాట్ మా ఎంబ్రియో means inside the ovule there are many type of embryos are there now this phenomenon is called as what polyembryony anta what is the phenomenon polyembryony polyembryony very 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 important polyembryony means what ma some of the new cell cell start dividing and protrude means lopal ku vachestayi into the where embryo sac akkada em form chestunnai embryo like these are what ma embryos so that's why inside the ovule there are many ovules are present that is called polyembryony the simple definition is what ra polyembryony per lone undi nana poly means what many embryony means what embryo occurrence of occurrence of more than one embryo more than one embryo in a seed in a seed more than one embryo in a seed that is called as what ra polyembryony anta occurrence of more than one embryo in a seed that is called polyembryony the best example em cheppina nana citrus citrus then next one is what ra mango mango ఓకే నా ఇంతకి అపోమిక్సిస్ ఈజ్ యూస్ఫుల్ ఆర్ హార్మ్ఫుల్ సి ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ హైబ్రిడ్ వెరైటీస్ ఆఫ్ ఫుడ్ అండ్ వెజిటేబుల్ క్రాప్స్ దట్ ఈస్ కల్టివేటెడ్ రైట్ సో దట్ ఎక్స్టెన్సివ్లీ కల్టివేటెడ్ సచ్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ హైబ్రిడ్ ఫ్రూట్ క్రాప్స్ అండ్ హైబ్రిడ్ వెజిటేబుల్స్ సో ద కల్టివేషన్ ఈజ్ ట్రమండస్లీ ఇంక్రీజ్ ద ప్రొడక్టివిటీ హైబ్రిడ్ వెరైటీస్ కల్టివేషన్ అనేది tremendously increased okay sir ekko ga ekko mottamlo increase avutundi but one of the major disadvantage is there in the apomixis area what is that na such type of seeds hybrid seeds are produced every year very 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 important 
so hybrid seeds produce hybrid seeds produce every year produce every year that is one of the major drawback ma if the seeds are collected from hybrid plants they are sown and also what germinate that is what plants but such type of plants are segregated means characters are segregated do not maintain the characters okay na ah uh, hybrid seeds produce every year one of the drawback okay so but nana see all of you these type of seeds collected from hybrid plants which are sown manam pencham anukondi da nunchi vache plants the characters are will segregated do not maintain the hybrid characters ma do not maintain the hybrid characters okay so production of hybrid seeds are also what costly that is too expensive for farmers okay na anduke chudandi cotton seeds unnai anukondi every year farmer em chestaru nana కాటన్ సీడ్స్ కోసం మార్కెట్ పైన డిపెండ్ అవుతూ ఉంటాడు వచ్చిన కాటన్ నుంచి మాత్రం మళ్ళీ ప్రొడక్టివిటీని తీయలేకపోతున్నాడు బికాస్ ఆఫ్ వై దే డు నాట్ మెయింటైన్ ద క్యారెక్టర్స్ హైబ్రిడ్ క్యారెక్టర్స్ సో దట్ ఈస్ ద వన్ ఆఫ్ ద డ్రాబ్యాక్ ఇన్ వాట్ అబౌట్ మా హైబ్రిడ్ సీడ్ ప్రొడక్షన్ డ్రాబ్యాక్ ఈజ్ దట్ మరి ఎలా దీన్ని ఓవర్కమ్ చేయొచ్చు దట్ ఈస్ బై వాట్ అపోమిక్టిక్ మీన్స్ వాట్ వితౌట్ ఫెర్టిలైజేషన్ కదా Without fertilization, seeds are produced. Such type of seeds are called apomictic seeds. But apomictic seeds are not directly seed form. Pollination is not fertilization. It is not directly seed form. You know, that is a very, very important, beautiful. But uh, that, uh, that type of science is now, uh, but about uh, within the laboratory, that is going on, research going on within the laboratory, but not in uh, uh, widely published. Right? సో అది గనక మనకు అపోమిక్టిక్ గనక సక్సెస్ అయింది అనుకోండి ఇట్స్ అ వండర్ఫుల్ హీల్స్ అనేవి మనకి పాసిబిలిటీ అవుతాయి యా దిస్ ఈస్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఫీచర్ అపోమిక్సిస్ అండ్ పాలీ ఎంబ్రియాని సో దీంతో మనకి కంప్లీట్ సెక్స్వల్ ప్రొడక్షన్ ఇన్ ఫ్లవరింగ్ ప్లాంట్స్ అనే చాప్టర్ మనకి కంప్లీట్ అయిపోయింది నన్ను సక్సెస్ఫుల్గా ఓకే సో నెక్స్ట్ వీడియో మీకు ప్రిన్సిపల్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్హెరిటెన్స్ జెనెటిక్స్ ఒక బ్యూటిఫుల్ చాప్టర్ అది చాలా పెద్ద చాప్టర్ అండ్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ చాప్టర్ ఇన్ ద నీట్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్ మనకు దాని నుంచి ఫైవ్ టు సిక్స్ క్వశ్చన్స్ రావడం అనేది జరుగుతుంది సో అది ఇట్స్ యాక్చువల్లీ డిఫికల్టీ బట్ నేను మీకు సింప్లిఫై చేసేసి షార్ట్ కట్ మెథడ్లో చెప్దాం సో థ్యాంక్ యూ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ